Alright, what's up guys? Welcome to another episode of Buzz Lady Grip. And today I want to share with you this simple pentatonic groove. Okay, this groove is simple as ABC. Okay, if you understand what pentatonic scale is or what pentatonic is all about, you can groove this groove. So guys, I'm going to break everything down for you. It's simple, okay? It's all about your flexibility, your both fingers, okay? Your, your, your right hand and, and your left hand. Honestly speaking, if you have that um, flexibility on your right hand on your left, you can do this. Okay, so this is what I did. I played this groove on E minor pentatonic and I also switched to, um, what's it called? A minor pentatonic scale. Yes, I made use of that. So I'm going to show you everything I did there and the lick I added to it. And the lick is picked out from the A minor pentatonic scale. The key I made use of is E. The first groove I started with E on the key of E and the second groove is A. Okay, so and I'm grooving this groove on a minor pentatonic scale. Okay, I'm using my minor pentatonic scale. This is my E minor pentatonic scale. My E minor pentatonic scale is which is okay and the A minor pentatonic scale is okay so I'm kind of um, connecting both both keys together the E minor pentatonic scale and the A minor pentatonic scale to give me that sweet groove okay to give me that sound what you're hearing so the groove i started with the e minor pentatonic scale so mind you this is your e string so definitely that's your um key okay your key is e and this is your e string so the open note i'm doing there is my e outside okay i don't want to do okay so that's my e right there again on the b string don't want to do that so what I did was to do the open notes okay so that's it so I did everything I did on the A minor pentatonic scale that is what I copied to A minor pentatonic scale okay so that's it the A minor pentatonic scale is your root your flattered your four your five, your flat seven, okay? Okay, flat seven, then your, your one, back to your root. So it's five note scale. One, two, three, four, five, one. Okay? Okay, so if you can get the pentatonic scale, you can draw this groove. Mind you, it's no longer major, it's your minor note. Okay, so you can see it as your root, second, third, fourth, fifth, one, one, one. So see it as do, mo, fa, so, do, la. See it that way, I think it will help you that way. So I'm going to show you this groove using scale degree. The scale degree on the scale, like on the E minor pentatonic scale. Okay, we already know our one, our one, two, three, four, five, one. It's just like your major scale. Do re mi fa so seven notes. Go back to the one. Okay, so the pentatonic scale either the major or the minor they are five notes they are five notes scale okay so have that in mind so i'm going to be using the numbers to explain the groove for you so i started from the five five one one again five one one your one open
okay so don't forget the slurry so you're doing So that's how it will come out. Then you will now come back after the open note, open one. After you one, you come back to. Okay, so you wait there. Five one. Then the harmony that I did. They lead me to my open note out there. So the harmony started in between your G and your A is in between your G and your A so I did this on top of the fret then you play the the open E okay for the harmony to sound you are not going to press the strings down just rest on them Three counts. One, two, three. Open. Okay, so that's it. Okay, so that's how it will come out. The last harmony I did leading me to my A pentatonic scale okay a now the key has changed okay so I'm on a minor pentatonic scale if you notice everything I did on the e minor pentatonic scale that is what I copied to a minor pentatonic scale so for the A minor pentatonic scale, this is what led me to the A minor pentatonic scale. So I did the harmony. You can see they are very close. That's what led me to the A minor pentatonic scale. For the A minor pentatonic scale, I repeated the same riff. The one I played on the E minor pentatonic scale. That is exactly what I copied down to A minor pentatonic scale. Okay, so for the A minor pentatonic scale, I did. So for the A minor pentatonic scale, here is it again. You go this way when you go this way it helps you to begin to learn how to slow it helps your finger to start getting used to slurring okay when you go that way so if you're going this way you're just playing the scale one of one after the other Okay, so but when you're going this way or you're going this way, it helps your finger to start getting used to slurring. Just copy everything on the E minor pentatonic scale down to the A minor pentatonic scale. Okay, I believe that will help. There's a leak I did which is still on the A minor pentatonic scale, so I didn't go outside the scale. Okay, I used the A minor pentatonic scale to bring out that um, sweet movements that sweetly so everything I did there this is the A minor pentatonic scale here again the movement I did or the lick that I brought out there I started from my one so that's it the key a is part of um, the e minor pentatonic scale yeah 
when you look at it. So they are both connected. So I can easily connect both of them while playing that groove. I can easily do. Okay, so there's basically that is everything I did. That's it guys, hope you enjoyed it. This is just a simple groove I want to share with you guys. Hope you love it. Practice, practice is the key word, okay? Practice, fingering exercises, okay? Don't joke with it because this is what helps your fingers to be flexible. Your fingers, both right and left. To be flexible, okay, you can easily, when, you, when your fingers are flexible, you can easily approach some certain moves on the bass guitar. So guys, and if you're new to this channel, please do not leave without hitting the subscribe button, looking at you right there. Okay, you can't afford to miss new videos I upload every week, okay, you don't want to miss it. Please subscribe, okay, like, comment, and share, and if you also need private lessons from me, Every information is in the description below, right there. You can reach me or on the screen, you can get the information down. You can reach me via mail, you can chat me via WhatsApp number on the screen there. Okay, and um, that's all for now. I will see you in my next video. Peace out. Love you guys.